one of my favorite properties with logarithms is where we pull the exponent out. It's called with a product rule. Remember in exponent, in exponent world, we raise a power to a power, we're multiplying the powers. How that looks in logarithm world is we take the exponent p in this case, for power maybe, and we pull that all the way out in front of the logarithm. So for example, if I have the natural log of x squared, I could expand that out by dropping the, the exponent out in front. Those expressions are equal just by using the powers rule by taking the exponent and dropping it all the way out. Uh, if I have log of five, or sorry, the log of seven to the fourth base five, I can just rewrite that by taking the exponent and dropping it out front. So it's four times my log. Let's look at the natural log of the square root of x. Oh, there's no exponent there, is there? Yes, there is, because the square root of x can also be written as x to the 1 half. Now I see the exponent, so now I can drop that out and drop that out in front. So because 1 half times the log, which in that case was the natural log of x. And then one more example. I had a common log of 4x to the fifth. How can we expand that? Take the 5, drop it out in front, then multiply it by the remaining log. So just a couple of examples, nothing too drastic, but I get it. We're just not used to seeing logarithms and using logarithms that much. With exponents, I was able to make the steps and make the leaps to understand that. With logarithms, it's going to require just a few more, few more cycles of effort to kind of get the sense of how you use these rules and when you use them. And the best way to do that is with lots and lots of practice. The only way for it to become comfortable is with lots and lots of practice.